Today I want to talk about the starter solenoid and how it functions. So I made a crude drawing of uh, the solenoid and we can see the back end of the solenoid which is uh, the same as this solenoid here. We can see that in the light. So what happens is well, we've got the windings, we've got the solenoid, there's our contact disc. This is the end of the solenoid here that we're talking about. And this is a side view of what's going on. So there's your battery post, there's your motor post, your, your uh, signal post and your ground post. So when the operator pushes the switch down, the power comes down through this signal, the S-terminal, and through a parallel connection adds power to the hold-in and the pull-in windings. Now you can see I've got the hold-in in red and the pull-in in green. So the um, hold-in, the pull, get it straight here, the hold-in windings will stay charged. The pull-in windings will release once it's pulled in. So we close the switch, the pull-in and the hold-in windings excite, it pulls it in, makes contact between the battery and the motor. Now when that happens, the motor starts to turn and all the power in the uh, pull-in windings goes into the motor terminal and basically negates it because it's charging the motor terminal. Now the hold-in windings go from the S-terminal to the ground. Now the ground may have a wire to here or it may just be through the frame. It's a case ground basically. So that bit holds, as long as that ignition key is turned, the uh, hold-in windings stay excited and hold it in. So see, it takes a lot more amperage in these windings to pull it in than to keep it in or hold it. So once it pulls in, makes contact, full battery voltage is going to go through this battery terminal, through the contact disc, through the motor terminal, and supply power, there's a connection between here and here, to the, to the starter motor and it's going to begin to spin. When it starts, the operator is going to take his finger off the ignition, it's going to come up, and that motor is, when the power is shut off to that motor, it is going to go counter electromotive force. It is basically going to pull all the electricity through this connection, back through here, back through this, and back to ground. And that's going to negate the effects of the uh, solenoid and assist in letting it release very, very quickly. Now don't mistake that the spring in the solenoid releases it. The spring in the uh, in the contact, in the solenoid there will be an arm on here too. There's a spring down here going to the pinion gear and that's going to pull it all back. It won't be hung up by a residual electromagnetic force because it's being negated by the starter motor. So you can see here where the contact disc comes in. It's, that is basically what's going to happen. It's going to push on these contacts and supply battery power to the motor terminal which we could just put a, an external connection right there and that's going to allow the solenoid to control the starter. 